Hello everyone, welcome to the EliteWaveTestForecast.com YouTube channel. This is Henry. Today is Wednesday, October 13. The time is 1 a.m. GMT. And today we are going to take a look at the S&P. This is SPX, uh, 3 minutes chart here. Now we can see uh, the current structure here, a lot of WX here. What that means then is this move is a corrective structure right because you got a lot of wx wx in the larger degree here um, and as we can see right here we got this wx in the intermediate degree right w by the way is a double zigzag so you have the abc zigzag here you got the x and then now the y in blue is in progress uh, the the y in blue is in the form of another W X Y in the lesser degree now so we got this W here as a zigzag pattern three waves up ending X and then now looking down to complete the Y of Y technically okay so that's what we are looking at now let's check out a couple of things here uh, we got the right side down in the red that means we do have a sequence we do have a bearish sequence when you see a red color like this um, uh, now, but then even though there is a bearish sequence, remember the count is not impulsive. So the po if the decline lower uh, is considered as a correction as a result. Now, uh, the way I mean, depending on the way execution is everything in trading, right? Execution is important, uh, and it, it basically separates the winner and the loser. Basically, sep uh, execution and a good trading system uh, also. Now we can see right here that we are looking for, for the downside as long as it fails below 44.65 we are looking for continuation lower and for this view to at this moment because we are in the middle already right at this moment the only way we really validate this view is only if it breaks below W right if it breaks below W then this value is going to be validated that we're going to be extending to the downside uh, but we have this line here this is um, uh, ex Fibonacci extension between 100% and 161.8% in three swings here. So as you can see, the rally, we, we are calling for more downside um, for a while now. If you look at the service, of, if you're a member, uh, you will know we are still calling for more downside. And we got this latest rally, the recent rally in three swing, failing in the what we call in the extreme area and the equal -like area between 100%. 161.8% and then starting to turn lower here now in fact we sold it in the live trading room uh, in the group 2 in this area and then now with this move down we already managed to take partial profit and move our stop loss and therefore the position is completely uh, we call it risk free right now now people who do not trade in the extreme area typically they will just randomly trade <coughs> following the, the swing and the line which we do not recommend right just because we have a forecast and this betting forecast doesn't mean we just trade randomly at any location at every time we want uh, because uh, the probability is going to be uh, uh, lower when we do something like that without any plan and a system so that's why execution is all is everything and uh, if uh, if if someone for example is selling it in this area the 100 percent extension area then it doesn't matter let's say if it fails to go down and it reverse higher this is what we call double correction if it reverse higher then there is no harm because at that moment the position will be um, stopped out uh, without any losses because you have already moved your stop loss when you're selling in this area you already take partial profit on the way down so that's what it means by execution is everything in trading regardless whether you're right or wrong execution is the key now let's take a look uh, zooming out a little bit <coughs> to get I an idea of uh, the move here so let me um, <coughs> take a look at the 4 hour chart and then uh, put the labels here in the 4 hour okay so we cut this W in red over here this is W in, I mean this is X and uh, the 1 hour chart basically is calling for more downside as long as we stay below this one right that's exactly what the one hour chart or 30 minute chart here is showing uh, and we also got WXY in blue right here so right here and then there's EBC in red so let me put this so that you 
becomes clear so we got WX in blue and then um, we also got ABC here you see this ABC B C in red as the internal the internal of the W so this is your C this is your B and this is your A so what are we looking at here so we're looking simply that since we topped out here in September 2nd we are declining right SNP has started to decline and the decline is proposed to be in a corrective WXY now you notice here this one doesn't look like a 5 base down to me right it looks corrective looks like a 3 waves and you cannot count this 1 2 3 4 5 right I mean what sort of 5 waves or diagonal is that when the wave 4 is so big like this and the wave 2 is so so shallow like this that will be super ugly if somebody is trying to label this one, two, three, four, five. So I think the most reasonable sort of count in this case is a is a WXY, right? It's a seven swing structure. We got three swings down and then uh, we fail to break to new to new high and then do another leg lower. So it's, this is a double correction. <coughs> and and now basically we got this one, two, three, four, five swing and we're still missing the target on the downside which is the 100% extension of this WXY so this is the target area for the SNP 42.25, and uh, we're looking for, for the downside to reach this area now once we reach this area then uh, we could potentially either start the new leg higher to new high or uh, at least you know at least bouncing in three waves at least from this area right here uh, okay so but anyhow in the shorter cycle it's very simple uh, as long as we stay below 4465 we could see but the downside if it breaks be above 4465 then there is I mean then that means we uh, this is what we call truncation if it if we break higher like this then that means um, we got two choices either we finish here the Y without reaching the ideal 100% and then we go to new high we go to new high or else we can place W here and then we can place X here and then we can do another double correction but then the target is going to be changing right target is going to be changing in that case uh, and then measuring it the measurement is going to be different the W X Y E go like on the downside so those will be uh, the adjustment or the alternate in case it fails to um, it fails to extend on the downside now remember as I've been saying in the beginning and people don't understand sometimes execution is everything and people do not who do not have a system that has a role to execute they will just think that everything is tradable in every single situation every single time but it is it's is not the case it's never gonna be in the case and and in this case if execution is right let's say okay we do know we got one two three four five swing looking for the downside therefore if somebody was looking to sell for example they would have sold these three waves already by now it's already risk free so it doesn't matter whether it extends lower or not at this moment uh, that position is already safe alright so I'll see you all again um, tomorrow and have a nice day as always if you do want to get our regular updates or learn more about our technique of trading uh, you can always try our service we have 14 days trial the link is provided in the description of the video below I'll see you all again tomorrow. Have a nice day, everyone.